Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back all you amazing PSN viewers. I just want to take a moment to announce that there will be a second season of Star Wars Console Edition next month. I know this video is kind of coming early, as we're about halfway through the month, and the first season we ended recently. But, I just want to let you guys know that it will be coming back. And just kind of run, wanted to run you guys through the premise of it, and what to kind of expect in the next season. So, basically, you guys know kind of got our asses kicked by the con, and that Project Nexus was activated to send ships for a wormhole, or at least that's, you know, in the lore of this human species that we got going, and the whole human race thing. So, the next bit to that is, let's go over here um, to summary, and you can read that. As we said, we couldn't find any planets to live on that were suitable for us to live on. So we ended up just merging all of our arcs and you know whatever ships we had to, into stations basically to continue to live but over time you know as time went on and stuff like that eventually we got so adapted to artificial gravity and artificial air and stuff like that that it just became next to impossible for us to be able to inhabit anything with pure air and natural oxygen and gravity and stuff like that so that's why I took the, where is it, um, well, ingenious here, for the specific part of how to maximize the efficiency of their infrastructure and power grids. As I thought, you know, living in space, living on space stations, you'd be very limited and stuff like that in what you were doing. So you'd, know, you'd, need, you'd need to learn the best way to um, do things. Non-adaptive. Um, just for, like I said, we've been, we've been living in space for so long that it just doesn't seem possible that we could actually survive on a planet again. Because there's a lot of physical aspects that come with space and stuff like that. And this one also follows a good one. Um, that resources must be, uh, must be conserved and recycled. Which again, I figured coming from a space dweller start, this would be another good one because you're in space, you have limited resources, you gotta make do with what you have. So I figured that would be a good one, because you'd be recycling parts, you'd be repurposing old things, and remanufacturing things to work for the situation that you're in. So I thought that was a good one to take, just so, you know, kind of fit the story a little more. I'm not bothering with any of these, really, because I really don't know if any of these would fit with the... <coughs> With the lore, if anyone has any suggestions to spend the last point, um, let me know. Whatever you think might work. But yeah, this is just what I went for to kind of make the story work a little bit. Um, also went for authoritarian because I figured, you know, in our space station, you really need to crack down and keep people in line because, you know, can't be having like rebellions and stuff like that pop up and power struggles and stuff. And that's also where police state comes in because you got to make sure people are doing their jobs, make sure people aren't stealing supplies. That you know, even that one, you steal one loaf of bread, that could really screw up someone's rations for the whole week. Because again, space station, you don't have a lot. You really gotta manage that. Um, the xenophobe kind of comes in because you know. We kind of got screwed over by our allies in the last season because they didn't help us. They kind of left us to our own demise, and our neighbors, they just surrendered to the Khan instead of, you know, uniting to fight the Khan. So, we don't really trust aliens anymore. It's just been so bred into society now that we just don't trust them to protect us. We have to protect ourselves. Because if you remember the last season, if you were here, that's what it came down to. We had to protect ourselves, and that didn't work very well. At least it's content. And I figured this would be an argument. one. Merchant guilds. There's going to be a constant barter and trade of supplies on the stations for stuff that, you know, engineers would need, or thought there's just general people to survive. So I figured this would be an air good one, especially for its description. A number of powerful and very influential merchant guilds have risen to prominent positions. Ignore that clanning, that's my cats chasing each other around. 
uh, prominent positions in this society, they hold significant sway with the government. And I thought that is a very good one. Because I feel like realistically that would be, and I kind of took some inspiration from a TV show called The 100 when I was making this, and I feel like this is kind of accurate to what happened on the, um, on Arcadia, which was the main space station kind of arc, um, station for the show. If anyone's seen The 100, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, I recommend you go and watch it so this all makes sense to you. <laughs> but, yeah, that's kind of the gist I'm going for. And we'll see how it goes next season. Uh, just like before, if you want to be a part of the season, or a part of the story, feel free to leave a ship name and a character name, whatever you want down below. And I kind of want to make the season more interactive, make it more community inclusive. So if you want to be in, feel free to throw it in. And if you have suggestions and stuff like that on how to run this campaign, and how to, I don't know, just like be like a little interactive member of it. Feel free to leave some suggestions and stuff. Uh, unsafe changes. Yeah, go ahead and just discard. I didn't change anything as far as I know. Did I change anything? Oh, no, wait, I changed... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I fucked that up. I'll have to go and fix that after. Anyway. They... Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next season of Stars when we come back. Well, I'll see you guys in our videos, but I just mean you'll see see you here in this series when it comes back. Peace, guys.